Let me say this to you guys real quick, right? And I want you to take this. As a matter of fact, I want you to decipher this. Really think about what I'm saying about this upcoming, what I'm saying about Cassidy right now. Cassidy's underneath the microscope. You see what I'm saying? He's getting mixed reviews from his previous performances. From some of his fans. You got some fans that think he won, and you got some fans that thinks that he lost. You got some fans that thinks he needs to improve. Now, he may not be coming out publicly and saying that fans are upset, right? And this is what you gotta look at. Don't expect Cassidy to not be confident and cocky and arrogant. That's his persona in battle rap. That's the persona that he sells in battle rap. So if you're hoping for him to, quote unquote, humble himself, right? And who's to say he hasn't humbled himself? He may not have, he may not have humbled himself in the way that you think he should humble himself. But the man's approach is totally different. He's underneath the microscope right now. Do you really think that Cassidy wants to keep on losing fans? Do you guys really think that Cassidy wants to keep on upsetting his fans? Even though you're going to have some fans that are going to ride with him and support his performances regardless. Then you got some fans that are going to say, hurl up, hurl up, hurl up, hurl up. That was not it. And that's the reviews that it's getting right now. And then on top of that, you got the battle rap community that's on top of Cassidy right now. The Honda, you see what I'm saying? And he should use this. Actually, as a matter of fact, this is motivation for Cassidy. You see what I'm saying? The battle rap community wrote him off. They'll see this and get through it. Then you got some of his fans that are saying, look, you gotta pick it up. You see what I'm saying? That's one of the reasons why he's coming back. He said it for himself. He's coming back because of the disrespect. So obviously he's coming back. And this time, er, with all the shadow of doubt, there will be no questions asked. Cassidy got himself in this predicament. No matter if he feels he won or lost, no matter if he feels he's the GOAT, no matter if some of the fans feel that he's the GOAT, no matter if some of the fans feel like he's not the GOAT, but he still put himself in this predicament. And it's a good predicament that he's in. Because now, he's backed into a corner. His back's against the wall. And the type of person that he is, he's gonna keep fighting. That's what you gotta understand about Cassidy. He's not gonna give up. He's not gonna talk his tail in and say, oh, I lost. That's not him. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So don't expect him to say, oh, I lost. Don't expect him to say, oh, oh, I'm not the GOAT. Don't expect him not to say, oh, I'm the greatest of all time. I'm the best battle rapper. This is a competitive sport. You see what I'm saying? You gotta understand. And that plays a big part in somebody's confidence. He's not gonna lose confidence. He's not gonna humble himself in the way that you think he's gonna humble himself. He might not humble himself in the way that I think he should humble himself. But I'm gonna tell you what, I'm listening to him. I'm checking on him, reading his body language. I'm listening to his interviews. And it's a totally different Cassidy coming into this battle, right? So you gotta understand, his back's against the wall. He don't want to keep on letting down his fan base. And like I said, he's got a lot of fans that are satisfied with him. Then he's got some fans that are not satisfied with him. So what is he to do? He's got to satisfy them fans that are not satisfied. And then he's going to have to satisfy some of the people in the battle rap community that like him. Because there are people in the battle rap community that do like Cassidy. No matter how or which way some of us bloggers or battle rappers try to paint Bottom. There are people in the battle rap community that like and appreciate Cassidy. They just don't support his performances in the last two battles. They don't support his material and his delivery in the last two battles. You see what I'm saying? But what I'm saying is this. It's coming into this battle like a raging bull. Because this is do or die for Cassidy. You see what I'm saying? This is like the third one. This is do or die. Say so he knows has got to up the tempo. He's not just going to talk about, oh, I'm coming in here at a level nine. No, he's not going to just talk about that this time. He knows he has to battle at the highest level. He has to. He knows that. He knows what is up against going into this battle. So take his interviews with a grain of salt. 
because some of us in the battle rap community are taking it so personal when he says it's the GOAT. You know, I'm undefeated. Don't take it personal when he says that. He's an athlete. He's not going to talk his tail in and ball on. That's not what most athletes do. He's competitive. You see what I'm saying? He's competitive. Rather you think he got smoked or not. His competitiveness. His competitiveness. Him being competitive has kept him around. That's what's helping him get more battles. That's what's kept him around. Kept him around. Kept him around. His competitive side, his confident nature. But I think right now that's actually gonna translate even more with his delivery and his performance and his material in this next battle. Mark my words, I tell you.